This is a spin dive, okay. so the alcohol content is 3.8%, so it's even lighter than that first beer. Yeah, okay. The IBUs is a 10, okay. but this is what craft beer is all about. This is an explosion of flavor. Okay. When you drink it, you're going to get citrus on the tip of your tongue, and then it's going to disappear. Okay. As it rolls over your tongue, you're going to pick up sea salt. And then as you swallow it, you're actually going to get a finish of cracked pepper in it. Okay. I'm not going to guarantee that you like it, but you're definitely going to know what craft beer is all about when you drink this. All right? Now, are you, are you, are you getting it? It's literally He like knows. Wow. Okay. Now, remember we talked about that peachy keen, right? So this is the peachy keen. Um, I'd like to just have like a sip, okay? Take about half of it out of there. And then I'm going to ask you a question, okay? Okay, so. Um, oh, wow. The really, um, yeah, it's yeah. No! I don't taste the bitter. Hopefully that's the right answer. Yeah. So, did you each take a little bit? Yeah. Okay, so let me see yours. If I said sweet or tart, what would you say? Uh, a bit tart. And is it okay if we go sweet with you? Yeah. So again, we're taking a beer that starts off wonderful, but it's that finish you don't like. And using the science of mixology, yeah. try this now. Tell me what you think. Oh, it's so good. Delicious. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my god. <laughs> what I've done is we've stumbled upon this, okay? A lot of people come in and they don't like beer. It's because they haven't had a beer that they actually like. That very first beer that I gave you, is something that is so light that you can't possibly not enjoy it, right? right? Yeah. So that's a win for me. And now you're part of the conversation, like I was saying before. Um, we might go through some of the other beers, and it's going to be too much for you. Too right. hoppy, too bitter, okay? But now you're involved. You're listening to the presentation. You're having fun. Hit you with the peachy keen. You understand the beginning and the end, and you don't like the end. But it's all about pairings as well. So what I did was I took the peachy keen, and I took for you a blood orange okay, cider yeah, yeah. and for you I took a cranberry apple cider okay. and it's a pairing you yeah. can't just put cider with any beer because it wouldn't work okay but with the pairings it does yeah. now another little known fact cider actually eliminates the bitterness and the aftertaste of the beer that you had that you didn't like right so now you have a pairing yeah. You have the full alcohol content, and you have something now that you enjoy. Your face is lit up when you drink it. Isn't that something? I don't even have a name for it. We sell it all the time over here. We, yeah, we just people say, "What is that?" It's just a 50/50 mixed special, right? That's just what we, we just have fun with that. Yeah, so delicious, <laughs> crazy. Okay, I want that. Right at the very end. Yeah, yeah easy. Yes, the fruit and the so, salt. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Wow. Mixology 101. Yeah. <laughs> it's very dark in here. Wow. Yeah. That's nice. So the other day, I'll tell you a quick story. I had a customer come in and he said, you know, oh, hey, Nick, you know, I've, I've tried some of your beers, but I want a Belgian Moon. Do you have a Belgian Moon? I explained to him that, well, no, we don't have Belgian Moon because, you know, we have to carry our own products, right? So he was going to leave. Is that what you drink? Okay, so he was going to leave. And he's like, well, they sell it across the street, so I'm going to go. So I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Like, what do you do? you got to salvage this, right? So I said, whoa, excuse me, sir, come on back for a second. He's like, well, what can you do? You don't sell it. So I said, bear with me for a second, okay? Would 
you give me a chance? And he said, sure, but I don't know what you're going to do. So this is what I did, and it goes back to the science of beer. And you like Belgian, yeah. right? Okay. So you use science, and I did this, and I did this, and I did this, and then he tried it. Let's see what you think. You nailed it. And that's <laughs> yeah. what he said. Yeah. He was 65 years old, yeah. and he gave me a high five, and he said, you nailed it. He said, what did you do? Like, what is going on back here? Yeah. So I explained to him that just when you know beer and you understand what, you're, what you have back here, I took the only really wheat beer that I have that's unfiltered, which is my Leghorn, and it's a New England style IPA, but it's wheat based. Then, because of that bitterness that you didn't like in the other beer, the Peachy Keem, you need to eliminate that. So how do you do that? Well, let's take a light blonde lager, which is the closest thing to water that you have, but it's still alcohol, and by putting them both together, you bring the bitterness down and you tie the flavor together. And then, what do you always get as a garnish? Orange. An orange. And I don't have any oranges here. So it's like, what do I do? Oh, wait, I have blood orange cider. So I put a splash in, which just pulls it all together. And then when you drank it, it, it tasted exactly, yeah. So anyway, he was amazed. And then yesterday, I started telling people about it in the presentation. And we sold 11 of them. And it's, we didn't even, you know what we called it? They're like, what is it? What is it? I said, ah, we'll call it the double L. My bartender comes over and he goes, Lift Lock Leghorn. That's a triple L, Nick. <laughs> so now we're selling triple L's. So that's that's what craft beer is all about. You can have fun, right? Excellent. And thanks for um, being a willing subject to try that. Always. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything else? Four rules to drinking beer. By the end of the presentation, and I go with this beer, I actually have earned your trust. <laughs> so at this point in time, what I'll say to you is, before you drink this beer, there's four rules. The first rule is to always look at your beer. So lift it up, look at it. Is it clear? Is it cloudy? Is it hazy? Is it translucent? There's so many different kinds of beer out there. The second one is, like a wine, beer has a bouquet. So you always bring it to your nose and see what you're picking up. Is there any aromas that are familiar? Are you? See, and most people don't get that. Oh, really? It's on the tip of the tongue. It's very familiar. Okay. But you got it right away. Okay. So you have a heightened senses. Okay. Sure. So there's some vanilla in there. There's some caramel. Yeah. Some cloves. Okay. Now there's a third rule and a fourth rule. The fourth rule is the most important. The third rule is to drink it. The fourth rule is to drink it again. Okay. Now the reason that you want to do this is the first one, drink it, it's like scraping the butter off of toast, okay? So it cleanses it, and then the second time you drink it, you're actually picking up what the beer is all about. So go ahead. Oh, it smell that banana. Oh, that's really nice. And when you say banana, yeah. it's actually banana bread. It, it's yeah, that, it's like a yeah. yeah, it's heavier, it's got, yeah. So that's what we were trying to pull off, and that's kind of what we have. Yeah, yeah. It's so, good. a couple it's things nice. about this beer. It's a German wheat beer, it's a Doppelweizen, okay, hence the color. But it's not a traditional wheat beer, and if we looked at it, you notice there wasn't any wheat sediment in it, right? Like Blue Moon has the wheat yeah. clothed in the bottom, right? Um, this beer is so easy to drink, and you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it, right? But the people that love it, this is an any time of the day beer. Evening, mid afternoon. You wake up in the morning, <laughs> coffee or yeah. gop will do you, it doesn't matter, yeah. right? It works for you. But this beer can do something that none of the other beers can. We've all been there, we had a nice dinner, barbecue, we had a beer. We ordered dessert, so we have a creme brulee or a butter tart. Thank you very much, folks. And then you forgot to finish your beer during dinner, so what do you do? You have some butter tart, you grab that, whatever, and you drink it. And what happens? It's, it's, yeah, it's horrible. Because your taste buds, right? All of a sudden, it's a contrast. It's all about pairings, right? So that butter tart, that beer now, both of them are bland because your taste buds have shut down. You see, you won't even finish either of them, okay? But this beer, the way that it's set up, okay. you could have this with butter tart, okay? Yeah, and if you had a butter tart, and then you drank the beer, and then you had the butter tart, 
your taste buds are excited. Your senses explode. And all of a sudden, food and beer is more fun. Now, how could a butter tart be any better? But then when you drink it, the beer tastes better. The butter tart tastes better until the very end. So that's the one thing about this beer that the other beers can't do is it pairs with dessert. Yeah. And one of the things that I like to do here, I have my servers, when a customer orders a creme brulee or a butter tart, they automatically take out a two ounce glass of the Doppel Duya, but they have the option to upsell the five ounce glass for just two dollars. Yeah. And lots of times I'll see the customers out there and I'll go out with one of these yeah. and they'll, they don't believe me. Yeah. But then when they try it, they go back and forth, their faces just light up like it's Christmas. Yeah. Cool. So. Yeah. That's amazing. So thank you very much for participating yeah, in that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I love doing the sampling and it seems like you have fun doing it too. Yeah, 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 I know. yeah, I know. yeah. Who knew that beer could be so much educational and fun at the same time, right? I gotta say that your reviews are much better than mine. <laughs> My beer reviews are about as simple as they come after hearing you speak. So we've been educated, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Yeah. I just, you know what, I like to have fun. I like to involve people, and if they can take something away, then that's what we do, right? I think the most important thing too is, is that um, there's 90% of a beer I don't know anything about, so you don't BS it, right? The 10% that I do know about, I just, I work it, and I share it. Yeah. So, anyway, girls, my name's Nick. Yeah, Becky. Becky, it's Great been a pleasure. Catherine. Catherine, it's Catherine. Me, Nick. pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Matt. Matt? Yeah. And I'm David. David. Wonderful, guys. Thank you. Yeah. My staff need me. I gotta run, right. but I'll be back in a second. Hey, it's Matt with uh, Muskoka Bros, and this is my wife Kat, and uh, we are at Lake of Bays here in Huntsville uh, at their brewery, and we just uh, had a go around about 30 minutes with Nick, the manager and uh, mixologist, and uh, all I gotta say is, wow, that guy knows his beer. Amazing. Um, he knows how to mix beers, and thank you to John at Algonquin Outfitters across the street for setting Went in uh, just to spend a little bit of money at AO, and John there gave us uh, some coupons to get a free growler container. And after 30 minutes with us, Nick ended up uh, comping this beer for us. And this is the Peachy Keen Milkshake IPA. Delicious. And what did you think of it? Really, really nice. Um, it was exactly what he said he um, it would do. It's fruit um, peachy taste right when you first drink it, and then it um, ends with that bitter IPA taste. Um, but uh, definitely delicious and refreshing. Absolutely, so all I gotta say is I'm on fire for craft beer right now, even more than I am. Uh, thank you again to Nick mm -hmm. here, thank you to John at Algonquin Outfitters, and thank you to this beer. And uh, again, if you uh, like what we're doing here at Muskoka Bros, uh, check us out on YouTube, like and subscribe.